While Germany is shutting down its nuclear power plants, France wants to build new ones for the first time in decades. President Emmanuel Macron wants to fight climate change in this way. So, French President Emmanuel Macron has announced the construction of a new generation of nuclear power plants. In a televised address on Tuesday evening, Macron justifies this with, among other things, the fight against climate change and concerns about a reliable energy supply. And I believe that's reasonable, by the way. At the same time, however, the development of renewable energies should also be continued. France is one of the countries that have been using nuclear energy for a long time and want to stick to it. 56 reactors are currently in operation there. And Macron said in the TV address, in order to ensure France's energy independence, secure our country's electricity supply and achieve our goal of carbon neutrality by 2050, we will start building nuclear reactors in our country again for the first time in decades. A few weeks ago, he announced his intention to create smaller reactors by 2030, which should also make it easier to deal with nuclear waste. Unlike Germany, France continued to rely on nuclear energy after the disaster in Fukushima in Japan in 2011. The oldest nuclear power plant in the country in Fessenheim in the Alsace was shut down last year and further reactor units are to be taken off the grid by 2035. However, France is currently still in second place behind the USA among the world's largest producers of nuclear power. According to a study by the network operator RTE, CO2 neutral electricity operation without new nuclear power plants by 2050 would only be possible with enormous efforts. Excessive costs and technical problems have recently hampered the expansion of nuclear power by the state energy company EDF. An operating license was recently granted for a controversial nuclear reactor in Flamanville on the English Channel, construction of which began in 2007. Commissioning was last postponed to the end of 2022, also because leaky wells were discovered in the steel shell. Instead of the originally estimated 3.3 billion, the costs are now probably more than 12 billion euros. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.